What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today is a video that has been requested by a lot of my viewers and that is how you can actually get started on YouTube. So let's get right into it. So starting out on YouTube is extremely easy, especially nowadays, but there's a lot of people that just don't know where to start and a lot of people that are a little bit scared to do that. But in my opinion, it's so easy to do and today I decided to break that down a little bit on how you guys can start YouTube for yourself and make your own YouTube channel. Now the first thing that I do want to mention, the first thing that comes to mind about this topic is not to be discouraged if your videos are not successful in the beginning because in my opinion, nobody's videos are great at the start. Now it does take some time to start editing your videos and coming up with better video topics and everything else that comes to creating contents. However, it's not going to happen whenever you first start. It's going to take a little bit of time for you to learn the skills to improve your videos. And again, that does take some time. So don't be discouraged whenever you start out. If you're not getting the views, you're not getting the likes, you're not getting a lot of subscribers because it does take a little bit to improve your videos to get to that point. Once you decide that you want to make a YouTube channel, the first thing you should be thinking about is what kind of videos you want to make. Whatever you decide to make, it should be about something that you enjoy. That way it's easier for you to record your videos and you're gonna have a lot more fun creating your content. You're gonna be a lot more engaged with the audience in your videos and not only whenever it comes to recording, but if you have to do any prep work or any research or planning for your videos, you're gonna have fun throughout the whole process. If you're just grinding and you're trying to just make videos that are trending and stuff that you just don't enjoy, it really will show in your videos. Trust me, people will see right through it and realize that either you don't know what you're talking about, you don't care about what you're talking about, or you're just not enjoying it. So make sure whatever you choose and whatever content you decide, it's about something that you love. For example, if you are a collector and you absolutely love collecting various items, sharing that on the channel, you're going to show your love for the things that you are collecting and showing on your channel because it's something that you already loved before setting up a camera and recording it. If you are a gamer and you just have a blast playing video games and whether or not it's by yourself or with friends, just recording that content and putting it out there, it's going to be shown in your videos that you're having a lot of fun and that's going to engage your audience as well. The next thing to think about whenever it comes to starting a YouTube channel is how you're going to actually record your videos. The first thing I'm going to talk about that is that a lot of people think that you need an expensive camera and it does not start out that way. Whenever I started my YouTube channel, I started with a fourth generation iPod. The audio was terrible. I had to record the audio separately on my laptop and splice it together. The lighting was terrible because the iPods back then were terrible quality for the videos in that. But that's what I started out on. Then I transitioned to my smartphone and then just a couple years ago, I did transition to my Canon M50 and that's what I currently use for my videos but it took me a long time to get to that point to actually have a camera and I didn't choose the most expensive camera I just choose something that was the best quality for what I was going to use it for and what I intended to use it for but whenever starting out never go straight to a camera because right at first you're not only going to be camera shy but you're going to be learning so many new things as to how to record your videos how to edit your videos making thumbnails and everything else that happens with your channel that to learn how to record on a camera is going to be very difficult compared to starting out on your smartphone for example which most people nowadays at least have a smartphone so you can use the camera right on it and you can get used to it and get used to making content that way and you do not need an expensive camera to start out. It is definitely better to start small and work your way up. Even if it does take a few years to get there, eventually you will get there. Now, whenever I did start out, the one thing that I was ignoring was thumbnails and editing, which is a very huge part of creating content and being on YouTube is thumbnails and editing. Whenever it comes to making thumbnails, you want to make things that are engaging for your audience. They're eye popping and they make people want to click on your video to view it. So if you have a really decent thumbnail or a really great thumbnail, that's gonna make people want to watch your videos and make people click on your videos. Now, if you are making a great thumbnail, 
and you do get people to click on your videos to make them stay, you have to have really decent editing skills. Now at first, whenever you start out, I'll be honest with you, you're gonna make terrible videos. Your videos are not gonna be edited properly, at least not to where you would like them to be. And your thumbnails are gonna be the bare basic stuff that you are going to think of and create on the spot. It will take you a long time to learn the skills to make the best thumbnails that you could possibly make and to have the best editing. A lot of people right now, whenever you're starting out on your phone, if you record your videos on the phone, a lot of people are editing on the phone and there's a lot of great apps for editing on your phone. Over time, you're gonna expand, you're gonna purchase a program on your laptop and you're gonna edit your videos that way. But again, it took me a long time to get to that point. Whenever I started out, I was recording my audio through Aud Audacity or Audacity or whatever it's called. I don't even use it anymore, so I don't even remember how it was pronounced. But to edit my videos, I was using Movie Maker, which no longer exists. So starting out, you're not going to obviously go and purchase an expensive editing program. You're not gonna go and get a uh, subscription to a site to create your thumbnails. There's a lot of free options for you. For example, like I said, there's a lot of free apps on here. The one thing I'd recommend whenever starting out, if you're using a free editing app, make sure it's something that does not have the watermark. So your video is gonna be great, but it's gonna have a watermark showing whatever company or or whatever app you're using. Try to pick one without the watermark. And for thumbnails, what I use is free, and that is Canva. There's a lot of great backgrounds and a great text and a lot of great features that you can make really great thumbnails that are eye-popping, and a lot of people will absolutely love your thumbnails. So especially starting out, don't stress too much on making the thumbnails and making great editing, but it is something that is important to eventually start learning and getting that skill because thumbnails are gonna make people click on the videos, but your editing skills are gonna make people stay and watch your videos from start to finish, which is going to boost all of your algorithms on YouTube, which will definitely help out your channel. And the last piece of advice that I'm going to give is once you have your feet wet and once you start making content in that, try to look to see what other creators are creating and see if there's something that's, again, is entertaining enough that you're gonna actually absolutely love to make a video on that topic as well. If it's something that's highly trending and you're gonna love making the content about that and talking about that, that is a win. But if you're just looking on YouTube and you're looking at what's trending and what is spiking in views and it's something that really doesn't interest you, avoid it. Do not try to make a video because people are gonna realize that you're attempting to use clickbaits and you're not enjoying the content you're making and that's just not gonna work for you. But once you get your feet wet and you start editing and start making good videos that you actually like, checking out YouTube to see what is trending in that and if it's something that you are interested in as well and something that it's easy for you to talk about, that is great as well. And a lot of people think if you're gonna look on YouTube and see what's trending that's cheating from another creator, I'm not talking about creating and copying exactly what they did and exactly what they said in their video. I'm talking about creating something original but based off the idea that something is trending, but also make sure it's something that you will enjoy to talk about to begin with. And the last piece of advice whenever it comes to starting a YouTube channel is don't worry about making money. If you're gonna go into YouTube and try to start a channel to be successful and make a lot of money, newsflash for you, unfortunately, that doesn't work for a lot of people. Right now, I'm making on average two to $300 a month, and that does not replace a full-time job. I do have a full-time job, and I do have a side hustle, and my YouTube money is growing, and I'm almost getting to that point where it's gonna be nice and relaxing, but it does take a while to get there, and right now I'm going on seven years on YouTube, so it does take a long time to get there, and there's different rules right off the bat when you start a channel right now you will not be able to get ads on your channel to start whenever I started immediately after you started you could get ads right on your channel which was the concept back then is anybody can make money you just start producing a lot of videos and a lot of people were doing that starting channels and just their channels were failing because they were in it for the money so right now you need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in one full year to be able to get ads on your channel. And to get to that point, you have to just basically learn the algorithm 
learn what you need to do, try to make better videos, and eventually you'll learn the skills to gain those people to get to your videos, and you will become a better YouTuber and eventually get ads on your channel. But don't start out thinking you're gonna make a ton of money right off the bat because it does take a lot of work to get to that point. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care, peace.